Today's Bible study is titled The Twelve Recognize Paul's Gospel. Paul previously concluded, in developing his case for grace and associated history of the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council, that the results of his private conference with the Twelve resulted that, they who seemed to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me, Galatians 2 verse 7. So, Paul had presented to the Twelve and others the gospel that Christ instructed him to preach in private conference. And after hearing what Paul presented, the Twelve and others realized its authenticity as new revelation regarding a new dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2. And the Twelve did not attempt to add any aspects of their kingdom gospel, repentance, baptism, law, circumcision, etc., to Paul's gospel. With this in mind, we continue today. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it mocketh no matter to me. God accepteth no man's person for they who seemed to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me, but contrarywise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. Galatians 2 verses 6 to 8 KJV Let's dive deeper into these verses which are seldom heard from pulpits in churches around the world today. After having noted the conclusion of the private conference portion of the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council, that the Twelve and Jerusalem church leadership did not ask to add anything from their kingdom gospel, to Paul's gospel after he had presented it to them, Paul shows the background for why such was the case. He uses the word contrarywise in this regard which, from Webster's 1828 dictionary, we find an adverb combination of a manner which is contrary and wise, and the general usage would be on the contrary oppositely, or on the other hand. Next, we see that the twelve opted for contrarywise as a reaction to a when they saw conclusion regarding what Paul presented example, they concluded what was presented was new revelation from the Lord Jesus Christ, given his chosen messenger, Paul. And what they saw and observed was that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, Paul, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. Let's pause here and ask a question. When was the last time you heard a message on, or even an observation regarding the two gospels here mentioned? Most believers have never heard of these two gospels, a discussion for another day, but suffice it to say that the Lord Jesus Christ, in his pre-cross earthly teaching and actions gave the Apostle Peter the keys of the kingdom of heaven, as well as the authority to bind and loose Matthew 16 verses 18 to 20, and this was all pertaining to those of God's earthly people Israel per the gospel of the circumcision. Similarly, the glorified Lord Jesus Christ gave Paul a dispensation of the grace of God, Ephesians 3 verse 2, from heavenly places and made him the apostle of the Gentiles, Romans 11 verse 13, per the gospel of the uncircumcision. The real point of this for today is that the Twelve concluded that Paul had received both message and authority in a similar fashion to the way Peter did, example, directly from the Lord. And we know this by Paul parenthetically relating, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. So, the Twelve recognized that Paul had received a different gospel, Romans 16 verse 25, directly from the Lord and further, no doubt, recognized that this was likely premised on Israel, Jerusalem, failing to repent, change their mind. Regarding Jesus being the promised Messiah, with the result that Israel was concluded in unbelief with the Gentiles, Romans 11 verse 32. And again, very important, they did not seek to add anything of their kingdom gospel to Paul's grace gospel, Galatians 2 verse 6. Believer, when you realize there was more than one gospel preached to more than one group of people and that the twelve recognized Paul's gospel as new revelation, it is a game changer. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.